Hello there! Welcome to Retro Rewind. We're back with that 70s show. This time, the season 3 Halloween episode. Too old to trick or treat. Too young to party. Something like that. Um. Huh. No, wait. Hold on. It'll be on here. Hold on. Too young to trick or treat. Too young. Too old to trick or treat. Too old to trick or treat, too young to die, is what it is. And it's a pretty well put together episode. Um, yeah, so it's basically a Alfred Hitchcock tribute episode in a way. That pays tribute to the Hitchcock movies. Psycho, Birds, North by Northwest, Vertigo, and of course Rear Window. So the episode starts with Fed showing up in the basement dressed as Dr. Frankenfurter from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. He steals Eric's Super Bowl, which leads to a chase on the roof of the garage, where Eric falls off the garage. This causes him to have vertigo, and Fez also a sprained ankle, which means he's stuck in a wheelchair. Gee, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Meanwhile... Mrs. Foreman is stuck feeding a friend's birds. Can you see where this goes? Uh, Red is the character that's just there. Kind of like how Sean was just there in the Halloween episode of that show. But yeah, he's just around. He's not really doing anything in this episode. Don't be a dumbass, you know. So, when it comes to the individual plots of the movie, there's a Hitchcock movie marathon on TV, and so the individual plots are as follows. Eric has vertigo off of fall, after falling off of the, the garage, and he, he sees a hot blonde, which is Donna in a wig, who's also not in that movie, and eventually follows her up to the water tower and gets rid of his vertigo, but ends up falling off the water tower, and... Yeah, Everyone falls off the water tower, but only one person ever died because they needed to get rid of the character. Charlie. <clears throat> it made any sense. Everyone else falls off the water, water tower. Kelso has fallen off that thing more than anyone else I've known in the show. <clears throat> so I don't know. I don't know. The other plot from Rear Window sees Fez, now wheelchair bound. Trying to spy on a naked Mitch who lives next door. Uh, but she's not there. Uh, oh, they find Bob and they believe that Bob murdered Mitch as they see him hauling out big garbage bags. Huh. That sounds familiar. <clears throat> and they find him standing with uh, a knife and some guts covering him. And uh, yeah, Hyde goes over to check it out. Steals a couple beers, goes to Moon Fez, and then runs off. Yeah, you really were a help there, Hyde. But, uh, and a great homage to the rear window. Uh, Bob finds out, sees this, goes over. Fez is in the dark. He uses the camera, and I went, oh my god, they're, they're actually, I, 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 now that I've seen rear window. By the way, my review for rear, win rear window will be up later this month. I enjoyed it. Kind of makes me want to want to get the other movies that I haven't seen in here, which will be Vertigo and North by Northwest. Although I have seen the verse, but I haven't reviewed it yet. But uh, yeah, that caught me off guard. I was like, "Well, oh, they are following it." Then we find out that Major is in Chicago, but you know, and IMDb points this out: her car is there earlier. And how did Midge, did she take a flight to Chicago, a bus, <clears throat> maybe, I don't know. Uh, then we have Kelso's plot, which is a combination of North by Northwest and Psycho, where the paperboy believes he is a foreman and keeps going after him for the, uh, for the payment. 
And it even leads to the famous scene from Rook by Northwest where Cary Grant is chased by a little, an airplane, but here it's a remote control plane, you know. And then Paperboy takes his money, and then he also storms and he goes, Always pay your paper, boy! And he, uh, first of all, I'm taking a shower. Second of all, always pay your paper, boy. And he goes to take a shower. Uh, the bird's plot is that Miss uh, Kitty goes to feed the birds, but gets scared off, so tries to hire Lori to do it. By the way, I do like the line at the beginning of this, where Kess was like, I have to go to a stupid party with Lori's stupid friends. All, all, uh, they all act like they've done it with her. And uh, uh, Eric's like, uh, Kelso, and he hides like, let it go. <clears throat> let it go. Says, yeah, you can. You can't try to tell him. You know. uh, but yeah. Um, yeah. So Lori goes over. She gets scared. She gets pooped on. Bird poop. I've got pooped on the head. My sister got pooped on the head. Birds, they poop. Although, in my case, I was an idiot for sitting right under where birds were sitting. I didn't know that. that and they pooped on, not on my head, just on my shoulder. I had to wash that sweatshirt. But anyway, <clears throat> any uh, anyway, um, yeah, and so Kitty eventually goes back to the house to feed the birds. They're all out and because Lori left the cage door open. And then she runs to the side. She's like, oh, a phone booth, just like the movie. How convenient. She gets in there and the birds attack because it's from the movie, right? <clears throat> you know, the behedron. But, uh, yeah, I, I seen the birds a long, long time ago. But I know some of the things from it. I know that's in there. But uh, we get another Hitchcock moment where uh, Kelso was in the shower. And then Lori comes in. It starts hitting him with the a brush, but it's not like this. She's going like this because it's got to be like psycho. And she's like, "You spilled my shampoo," which is a red shampoo that goes down the drain. You know. And there's there's your psycho reference. The episode wraps up with Eric and Donna being okay now after the argument. By the way. I realize Jackie doesn't get to do much in this either. Jackie and Red. You know. Hyde has a little bit of stuff going on with the... With the rear window plot. But Jackie doesn't really have much. If anything. She's just there like like Red. Bob has a little more to do in this one. And Midge shows up at the end. He's like, no, Midge is right there. And she starts taking her clothes off and Oh, you can go now. Midgey, stop! You know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, not much to talk about, though. It, th that this episode was well done. The tributes to Alfred Hitchcock are fantastic. You know. Because I hadn't seen Rear Window before. I never caught it. But here, I, I caught it. Why Fez has a camera? I don't know, but it's from that, that movie, so it works. I do like... After that, he's like, come on, give me. The hand hide are fighting over the banana. He goes, give me. No, give me. And he hits him in the leg. Aye! 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 That's how he does that. That had been earlier, too. I love the scene where he's like, okay, let's test it out. Naked Mitch, naked Mitch, naked Mitch, naked Mitch, Bob, aye! So I like that. I like that scene. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun episode. So I did look to see if there are any Halloween episodes from Friends. I only found one, and it's not till season eight. There's a Brazilian Thanksgiving episode, which I will cover in November. <clears throat> uh, let's see, how many are there? I didn't look, so let's see here. There's one in season one, right? The one where Underdog gets away in season one. There isn't one in season two. So, season three. Don't 
The one with the football in season three. So that's two. Five. Season five, the one with all the Thanksgivings, okay. <clears throat> Season six. The one where Ross got high. So that's four, right? Seven. Not one there. Um, Holly Armadillo, that's a Christmas. One after I do with Brent Sweater. The Halloween party, the stain, the stripper. One with the rumor. Ah, the Brat Pit episode. So that's five. All right? One with. Rachel's other sister, that's one. And I think that's it. Right? I don't think there's any other ones. I think so. So there's six. Six of them. I could do a Thanksgiving week for friends. I think. I think. But, um,. Yeah, so they're drawn out. Different. So yeah, this was a good episode. Of, what was it? That's every show. That's right. <laughs> I'll do the Friends one next. So thank you for watching. I've been Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.